Hello everyone, once again, this is Sir O, your teacher in this session. So if you are new to my classroom, I will really appreciate if you can click the thread button below this video, the subscribe button, and please consider clicking that notification bell for you to be updated with my next session. So in this session, we are going to find the nth term of a geometric sequence. Of course, in this session, we will be defining the geometric sequence. We will also talk about how to solve or obtain the common ratio in a geometric sequence. And we will also solve or find the end term of a geometric sequence. So if you are now ready, we will now try to discuss or define what is geometric sequence. A sequence is a geometric sequence or geometric progression where each term is formed by multiplying the previous term by a constant r. And this constant r that we are referring to is what we call as the common ratio. Okay, for example, we have a sequence 4, 8, 16, 32, and so on. Now, if you are going to do by inspection, if you notice, if we multiply 4 becomes 8, meaning 4 times 2 is 8. And if we multiply 8 again by 2, it's 16. And if we multiply 16 by 2, it's 32. What we are doing here is actually we are trying to investigate or inspect if the sequence is an example of a geometric sequence. Now, if you notice, we multiply the previous term by 2 to become 8. And this 2 here is what we call as the common ratio. Another way of solving our common ratio is we will consider the terms given in the sequence. What we are going to do is we will divide the second term by the first term, which is 8 over 4 is 2. Another one, 16 divided by 8 is also 2. Another one, let us say uh, we divide the fourth term by the third term. 32 divided by 16 is equal to 2. So in other words, the 2 that we have obtained by dividing the second term by the first term or the third term divided by the second term, which is 2, is what we call as the common ratio. Now, since in this sequence, the, the ratio is constant or the common ratio is constant, therefore, this sequence is an example of a geometric sequence. Let's take another example of a sequence. 2, 6, 12, 16, and so on. Now, by inspection, if we are going to consider the terms given in the sequence, if we divide the second term by the first term, we have 3. If we divide the third term by the second term, we have 2. So if you notice, 3 and 2 are not the same. In other words, the common ratio is not constant. So if this happens, meaning to say this sequence is not a geometric sequence. Again, if the common ratio are not the same, therefore the sequence is not a geometric sequence. Since you know already or you can identify which of the sequences are geometric or not, so let us now try to understand how to find the end turn of a geometric sequence. So in a geometric sequence, the end term is being solved by the use of a formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by r which is the ratio to the power n minus 1. So we're in a sub n is the n term of geometric sequence. a sub 1 is our first term, r is our common ratio. The operation between 
the first term and the common ratio is multiplication. You have to remember that. N, of course, is the number of terms. So since we have illustrated already the formula in finding the nth term in a geometric sequence, let us now take some example. Example number one, given the sequence 1, 3, 9, 27, and so on, find the tenth term. So the very first thing that you are going to do is to inspect or check if the sequence is geometric or not. So from the sequence, so let us now solve for the ratio. So the ratio is dividing the second term by the first term. So 3 divided by 1 is 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 27 divided by 9 is also 3. Therefore, the common ratio is constant. Therefore, this sequence is a geometric sequence. So we are asked to find the 10 term. So let us identify first what are the given. Given a sub 1 is 1, and our common ratio is 3, and our number of terms is 10 because we are asked to find the 10 term of the sequence. If for us to solve this, of course, we will apply the formula that we have discussed a while ago. By direct substitution, we will only replace a sub 1 by 1, the common ratio which is 3, and the number of terms is 10. So we have a sub 10, we replace n already by 10, and our a sub 1 is 1. Our common ratio is 3, we replace by 3. If you notice the operation between the first term and the common ratio is multiplication. n is of course 10 minus 1. So we have a sub 10 is equal to 1 times 3 raised to the power of 9 because 10 minus 1 is 9. So of course by the use of our calculator because we will do first 3 to the power of 9 before multiplying it by 1. So take note of that, that's very important. Now, by the use of our calculator, what we are going to do is we click first 3 in our calculator. And next is we will click this x to the power of y. And then we will click 9. And that would give us, of course, 19,683, which is 3 to the 9. Multiplying 1 times 19,683, that would give us, of course, 19,683. Therefore, the 10th term of this sequence is 19,683. If you have some questions, I will be happy to answer them if you can write it in the comment section. Example number 2. Find the 7th term in the sequence 8. 24, 72, and so on. Now, the very first thing that we are going to do in this kind of problem is we are going to identify, of course, if the sequence is geometric or not. So by doing so, we will try to identify the common ratio by dividing the second term by the first term. 24 divided by 8 is 3, and 72 divided by 24 is 3. So therefore, the common ratio are constant. In other words, that will tell us that this sequence is an example of a geometric sequence. So of course, we will try to identify the given. The first term is 8. Our common ratio is 3. Our number of terms is 7. Of course, for us to solve this, we will make use of our formula. And by direct substitution, we just replace n by 7, and our a sub 1 is 8, and our common ratio is 3. Our n is 7 minus 1, and simplifying this further, we have a sub 7 is equal to 8 times 3 raised to the power of 6. Now, by the use of our calculator, what we are going to do here is we will click first 3, and then we click x to the power of y. And 6 is equal to, of course, 729. Multiplying 8 and 729, we have a sub 7 
is equal to 5,832. Therefore, the seventh term of this sequence is 5,832. Guys, do not forget to give a like to this video tutorial and please do share this for others for them also to learn just like what you did. And please do not forget, I will really appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel and by clicking that notification bell for you to be updated with my next session. Thank you so much, guys.